Good morning again, friends. Um, welcome to Leeds Harmonica on a bright and pretty decent spring morning. Quite happy with that. Um, I've made a mistake. I have dug in, I say mistake, something I should have done a long time ago. I have made the decision to dig in and really try to study a little Walter song from beginning to end. And the reason I've shied away from it is because it's so bloody intimidating, right? Um, there is so much going on in Little Walter Licks that the more you look, the more that comes out. You get the impression that if you didn't stop trying to e excavate the thing, it would just keep going and going and you keep finding more and more stuff. Um, anyway, um, a couple of reasons. So things would be a little different today. I'm going to witter about this lick for a bit. Um, it's very important or very useful to study songs from beginning to end and learn them note for note. You probably wouldn't play them like that if you were out and about, but um, what you're doing is you're learning the style of a player, you're learning the kind of licks they use, how they string licks together. It's just a very, very useful thing to do. Um, so I am doing this with quarter to 12. I don't know if that was a sensible place to start, but I've got a uh, transcription from David Barrett, so I'm going to assume it's pretty top-notch, and obviously I've got the track to work with. And the lick that I've picked out is... And I've picked it because it's quite straightforward, really, but it has thrown me for a loop, and I think it's the timing. I don't feel that I'm properly on top of the timing. Um for whatever reason. Anyway, so we start off on the five draw with just a bit of six, four draw with just a bit of five. No, excuse me. Well, we're not doing the full on uh, double stops. Just want a little bit of hair on the side of it. And then we've got the four draw. Don't swoop down to the four draw, punch right in there. Four blow. Three draw half step, it's probably more like a three draw quarter step as it usually is on uh, that blue third. And then into a five four shake, um, which we dip into. Very important to get that dip in there. So there's not a huge amount going on here, but um, like I say, for, for, I just don't feel that I've cracked it. Anyway. Um, that that is <laughs> that is the lick that, that I'm going to try and play, and it. I'm going to keep on with this, so I'll probably as the as as this goes on, I'll probably pick a few licks from this song and then sort of put them in this uh, life, love and blues harmonica licks context. Um, so yeah, man, little Walter. There's um, little doubt that he has earned his uh, his place in harmonica history. It's it's, it's nuts. Anyway, let's uh, let's plot on. Okay, D harmonica, second position, backing track in A. Before I go on, just a quick note for pedants here. Yes, I'm playing D harmonica of a backing track in A. I'm well aware, thank you, that quarter to 12 is in the key of F, played on B-flat harmonica. But when I'm learning licks, I like to change it up a bit. I think it's helpful. Um, it stops the... It stops you thinking about licks as just something that exists in one place, and it helps you sort of see them as... or well, it helps me see, see them as things that can be moved around, uh, played on different harmonicas and put in different situations anyway, so don't moan at me, that's what I'm saying. Let's see how much of a mess I can make of this. Okay. 
Okay, made a mistake. Kind of got away with it. Here we go again. Hops, man. trying to do last time when I broke it. Okay, so little Walter, um, I mean, this isn't the hardest lick in the world to be honest, the trick is in the timing and I'm not quite getting it right, I can feel that I'm not quite on top of it, um, so that's an issue, I'm going to go and practice this some more, whew, okay, uh, later everyone.